Let's continue writing some additional tests around our lottery contract. I think that the next test should make sure that a user has to send in the appropriate amount of Ether in order to enter into the contract. So if you send less than 0.01 Ether, we want to make sure that we do not allow a person to enter into the contract. This test is going to be a little bit more tricky to write because essentially we want to make sure that something goes wrong. And that's not the easiest thing to actually put together. So let's give it a shot. At the bottom of my test file, but still inside the describe block, I'll add on another it statement. For this one, we'll say that it requires a minimum amount of ether. How about ether to enter? Let's be really descriptive. And we'll add on async like so. All right, so this time around, we're again going to try to enter into the contract, but this time we're gonna send in dramatically less ether. So we'll say await lottery.methods.enter.send. And of course, don't forget the two sets of parentheses here. But this time, when we send in this transaction, of course, we're still going to say from accounts at zero. But I think that our value, the amount of Ether we send along with the transaction, will be different. So this time, let's try sending in just 200 way. This is going to be 200 right here. 200 way because we are not trying to convert it into ether or anything like that. Now it doesn't have to be ether, I just made up, or 200 way, excuse me, I just made up that number off the top of my head. We could just as easily do say 10 way or maybe zero way, whatever you want to do is appropriate. Our goal here is to make sure that when we attempt to enter with this, an error should be thrown. So we want to make sure that if we try to enter with an inappropriate amount of ether, something should go wrong. When we are using the async await syntax, as we are right here for handling our asynchronous code, we can handle errors by using a try catch statement. So we're gonna use a try catch, which is a part of basic JavaScript in order to make sure that some error occurs here. I'm gonna first start off by wrapping the await inside of a try, like so. All right, so notice that we have try and then a set of curly braces. And then on this, the closing curly brace, immediately after, we'll say catch. We'll catch an error object, and then we'll place our other set of curly braces. Now, I found that a lot of people have not actually worked with try catch statements with JavaScript before. So as a quick refresher on how they work, when we use a try catch statement, the JavaScript interpreter will attempt to run the code inside of the curly braces of the try statement. If this code is executed without error, then everything continues along. But if something goes wrong with this line of code right here, then the catch statement will be triggered. We can use try catch statements to automatically catch errors that are thrown by asynchronous function calls like the one we have right here. Again, in this case, we want to make sure that this call ends up in the catch. So this should throw an error. We want to see an error here. So inside the catch part, we're gonna add on an assertion to make sure that we get to this point. So I will assert dot OK error. We've used the OK function before. Remember, OK just checks to see and assure, assure us, assert that some value is passed into this function. So even though this is an error object, it is a value. So we can make sure that there is an error present. Now to be triple sure, like 100% sure that this thing fails, we are also going to add a failing assertion immediately after the await. So right here, I'll say assert false, like so. And you know what? I just made a mistake. We don't want to use assert.ok here. We want just assert. When we use assert, we're going to check for truthiness, unlike ok, which checks for existence. So that was my mistake. Now you might be kind of curious why we're using assert.false right here. Well, just think about it. If the asynchronous function call right here is executed and then an error is not thrown, execution will go down to the next line of code where we will run assert false. Assert false is always going to fail our test no matter what. So if for some reason this statement does not throw an error, this line of code will run and then our test will fail. However, if this line of code right here does throw an error, then we'll end up in the catch statement where we assert that yes, something just went wrong. All right, so let's save this and give it a shot. We'll npm run test again. 
And while that's running, I want to mention very quickly, this is a pattern that we're going to use quite a bit whenever we want to somehow catch errors or do some error handling around any function calls that we make to a given contract. Do remember that we're only really using try catch here because we are using the async await syntax and we capture errors with async await by using try catch. If we were using traditional promises, then we would use a catch statement instead. All right, so let's check out our tests and it looks like everything is working. Now notice that the test is passing. It is passing because we went to the catch statement where we asserted that an error was present. And we very clearly did not run this line of code right here. So if this was ran, our test would have failed. Okay, so this looks good. We are now asserting or testing to make sure that someone has to send along an appropriate amount of ether to actually enter into the lottery. Let's continue the next section where we, where we will start working on our next test.